Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Performance Architects How To. My name is Bob and I would like to discuss the new function that was introduced in a later version of planning and S-Base System 11, the X-Write function. First I will give you a little background on my experience with the data movement between databases and or applications. We will talk about the challenges this presents when sharing data and how we best handle it. And then I will show you an example of a piece of code that I've used and talk about some of them benefits. Historically we've used a few different ways to move data from one database to another. Here are some several examples of what I've used over the past eight or nine years while working with Hyperion Planning and S-Base products. JXport was one of the first ways to move data. If you've been around for a few years, you remember this one. We would export the data into a SQL database or a flat file, then create a load rule to load it into a, the destination cube or database. It wasn't very user-friendly and for the most part was an administrator's responsibility. This was the same for the use of report scripts. An administrator would export the data using a report script, reload it into the new cube with a load rule. No end user interaction was involved. Historically, both the JExport and report script process was a very slow and, it, and the end users had to wait until the allotted time when the administrator would run the process. Introduced into syst when System 9 came out was a data export calc. This was a big improvement to the prior method simply because it was faster and more efficient, but we still had to use the load rules to move the data into the new cube. Still no, no end user interaction. The XREF, XREF function, which has been around for a long time and can be used by either member formula or cow script or business rule, and this was a great for the end users since they were able to see their data in real time. The problems that occurred with this process is one, when you use the function in a member formula, you have to take into account the individual accounts. Are they also being used to store actual results? If so, they would either have you would either have to create a sub-account structure to store the actual results and a second account for the budget and forecast data that was using the XRF member formula. The other option is to use a calc script or business rule to move the data in the XRF function. This provided a method to move data from one plan type or S-base cube to another plan type. It is executed from the target database and pulls the data from the source. XREF will copy data to a target database and it must be executed from the source database. The function pulls the data rather than pushing it. This causes two issues. Normally the data is entered in the source database and is copied to the destination. When a planning web form is saved, you can set up a sequence or rule set that will execute the XREF function and move the data or the user can go to another form that is you, that is from the target database and execute or execute a business rule to move the data. The larger issue with the XREF is the account is accounting for block creation. Remember XREF pulls data from the source. The source may not have blocks that exist where the data resides. XREFs, the XREF does not account for the creation of blocks if the blocks don't exist. XREFs must be used in combination with the create block on equation setting. This is acceptable when fixing on a very finite level of data, but execution on a larger amount of data results in an extremely slow data movement process. As you may know, SBase is responsible for the slow data movement process because it traverses all possible sparse member combinations to validate existence of data on a source. Normally data exists at a very small percentage of the possible blocks. In addition to the slow data movement process, it's worth noting that the XREF function can also create blocks in your database which are unnecessary, ultimately increasing the size and decreasing the speed of your application. 
Here's kind of a uh, display of how the XREF function works. You have a web form, enter data into the source database, you run the data flow, pushes it to the, data, the database using the XREF business rule. The XWrite was actually introduced in a later version of 11.1.1.x, but is very stable in 11.1.2. XWrite is executed from a source and pushes to the target. This function is a huge improvement over the XREF. XWrite is the opposite, so to speak, of XREF. Rather than using XREF to pull the data from a target, XWrite enables you to push the data from the source. Pushing data resolves the issue which XREF creates the block creation. X-Rate does not impose member or dimension mapping restrictions, which means that the data source and the data target outlines can be different. When X-Rate is executed from the web form, thus pushing the data from the source to the target, there's no longer a need to account for this process with two web forms or a manual execution of business rules. And six X-Rate is executed from the source, there's no longer a need for looking for every possible sparse member combination on the target. Using a fixed statement enables SBase to decipher which blocks need to be copied, removing the guesswork and subsequently the requirements for the create block one equation. Util utilizing XWrite function results in faster processing and efficient block creation. And then here's another display. This is more of the XWrite, the web form or the data entry, the XWrite Calculation runs from the source and pushes it right to the target. So here's an example of a business rule that I've used to move employee data from a workforce planning cube to a P&L cube. In this situation, the employee and job title, as you see in the first fixed statement, are in the workforce planning cube or not present in the P&L cube. So we aggregate the first the workforce planning cube prior to running the X-Write rule on a specific entity parent member that will be moved. We also had a measures dimension that we needed to segregate the members and have two separate processes based on the salary and benefits. The block is created based on the version which is a runtime prompt. The same member in the target cube is then identified along with the location alias very similar to the XRF um, code um, with the target, the location areas of the target destination and the specific members from the source cube that are not present in the, tar in the target cube. And that's just a, that's a perfect example of an extra write calc script that works and probably runs in about five seconds. Um, so some of the benefits that I've seen is there's no longer just to recap, I guess, no longer need to f look for every possible sparse member combination at target. We use a fixed statement, which enables SPACE to decipher which blocks need to be copied, removing any guesswork and subsequently the requirements for the create block one equation setting. We utilize the X-Rite function for faster processing and efficient block creation, and I found it to be much faster and less impact on the end user. This concludes my presentation that outlines the X-Rite function as a better way to move data between S-Base databases and or applications. Thank you for joining and please visit our Performance Architects how-to.